I'm Christy Codred, author, entrepreneur, retired professional boxer, and I thought you might like a glimpse behind the scenes for what I go through, what happens at my house in my life during Code Red events weekends. And so, you know, Code Red, I mean, we don't do it up small. And when we have events, we cram as many Code Red events in one weekend. That way, where people who are flying in from out of town or people who are making arrangements, they have the opportunity to hit as much as they can and get the most bang for their buck when they come to Boise or wherever we're holding the Code Red events. So, let's take a look at how it goes, what my life is like during Code Red event weekends. The thing you have to remember about me is my life still has to continue going on, even though it's a Code Red events weekend. You know, I don't have, um, I don't have, you know, a, a house manager or I don't have um, somebody who lives here and does all my chores for me. I still have to do all of my chores and I still have to keep up on my normal everyday life. My dogs do not understand that, well, I have five events this weekend in three days and they don't know. They still have to be walked. They still have to be fed. They still have to have their poop picked up. They still have to. So my definitely my events start off with my normal chores in the morning. Every morning during the uh, event weekend, I will get up at 4 a.m and start off by walking my dogs. They have to still get their exercise. They don't get to take time off. They don't understand that it's a Code Red event weekend. Uh, so I gotta walk my dogs early in the morning with headlamps and everything. And then I get to the gym because that's what we believe in maintenance. We believe in working out in maintenance and I've got to get my workouts done. And when I work out, it sets me up better for the day to make better decisions and it just helps me feel better. So I start off my morning getting to the gym and getting my workouts done. In this particular event weekend that I'm showing you, uh, I had five Code Red events to do over the course of Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And my very first one started at 8 a.m. on Friday and that was a, a VIP gathering that I had to do. So I had to be up and ready to go by 8 a.m. I had to be at the restaurant by 8 a.m. ready to meet my VIP rebels. After that, I came back, I got Carrie, and then we took off over to the Boise Center for our first event Friday morning, and that was Coffee with Christy. The way that these events go is the doors open up at a certain time, the rebels get there at a certain time, but I get there at my certain time. And what I do is we open the doors, we let people in, we let them get settled, we let them buy their stuff, we let them get their coffee and, and whatnot, and then I arrive and start my part of the meet and greet. So I've done my eight o'clock event, then I did my 10 o'clock event, and then I have a few hours before my five o'clock event. And that means I come home and I try to get comfortable. I get out of my shoes, I get my comfortable clothes on, I try to relax and I make sure that I get some code red work done and I make sure I try to shut my brain off and give myself a break. What people don't realize is that I'm absorbing the energy of hundreds of people over the course of the weekend. And it's not bad energy, it's good energy, it's just still, absorbing all that energy and it takes a lot out of me. Um, and I have to be on my game. I have to smile, I have to hug and I want to, and I love it. I mean, I love all this, but it's a lot that I'm taking on and uh, you know, people are crying and they're excited and they want to tell me their story and it's a lot. And it, it fills my love cup, it really does. It's still a lot. So it's important for me to rest in between these events. That way I, um, I can rejuvenate before I have to be on again. Next event, I go on, I get my, I get dressed again, I refresh my makeup, uh, and I get back in the car, head back to the event center for the third event, which is the uh, Friday evening event. Full house, 75 people, and this is more of the meet and greet style where I'm hugging each person and I'm, uh, I'm greeting each person, speaking to each person, autographing whatever they brought up to me to sign, and it's a lot of fun. I do an open forum q and I talk to each person. It's very it's very one-on-one -on -one and it's um, very hands-on because I, I get to know each, each and every person. It's so important during these weekends that I get my sleep and y y I just have to be militant about it. I have to be very 
Um, very, very careful to stop working at a certain time to get up, to take my makeup off, to get in bed on time and get my sleep. Because if I, if I am not on my game, I am no good. If I don't get my sleep, I'm not on my game. If I'm not on my game, I'm, I'm robbing these people of the best Christy that I can be. So it's important that I show up fully recharged. The Saturday event is a full day event. And of course I started off by getting up early, walk my dogs, get to the gym, get dressed, full hair and makeup, uh, get everything I need and get over to the event center in time to start and be on my game all day from nine to five, all day long. By the time I get home from that, I am absolutely exhausted, just wiped out completely. My mind is mush. I am no good. I am, I am completely <laughs> saturated, peopled out, not in a bad way, in a good way, just still saturated and peopled out. It's just all the months of hard work coming together and finally gelling and being done. And it, it's kind of like I go, um, I, I ride this high of event, event weekend and then when it's over, I crash. I just come crashing down. And I'm, I can feel it. It used to be a lot worse. I'm so much better at managing my stress now. Uh, and But when I, when I come home, I'm usually absolutely wiped out. Again, get a good night's sleep. Wake up Sunday morning. Have to wake up really early in this case because we're having what's called a maintenance meetup. And the maintenance meetup is taking place in the park where I'm meeting 25 of my maintenance rebels for a workout and a run together, followed by coffee and breakfast at my house afterwards. So this is about 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. in the morning on Sundays. So everybody else gets to go home. Everybody else is relaxing, not me. I'm still back on my game for the maintenance meetup on Sunday. So normally after the Sunday event, I would have been done and everything would have been back to normal. But I decided to take advantage of Abby Acuff being in town and go ahead and certify her as the newest Code Red Certified Coach, which took up all of Tuesday and half of Wednesday. So I still was on my game through 10 a.m. on Wednesday. Of course, Abby's super easy to be around, but it's a certification process that I had to put Abby through, and I couldn't quite let my hair down. I couldn't quite take a breath until all that was done. And then once it was finished on Wednesday morning after the celebration breakfast, then I could relax a little bit. So for me, in this case, the event, the, the Code Red events started Thursday when my sister showed up and when Jade showed up and when the crew showed up to get all the supplies and to get everything out of the storage unit. It starts on Thursday and then it went Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I had six days of having to be on my game without any mistakes and it was exhausting. It's exhausting. But normally an event weekend doesn't take quite that much time. However, we have Code Red retreats and we have other things that butt up against event weekends. So more than likely, even if it's not going to be a certifying a new coach, you know, for example, in February, when we get done with the Code Red Winter Ball on February 5th, we're going to go right into our Code Red Winter Retreat, February 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th. So I don't get to get off until, you know, for, for another week. And that's okay. That's why I like it. But definitely behind the scenes is a lot different uh, than what people think. Really, for me, the name of the game is re re rejuvenating, relaxing, and trying to rest my brain and rest my body, not demanding too much of myself during that weekend. Don't to put too many, too much strain on myself. Don't take on any new projects. Don't try to make any major decisions. Just rest eat well, do the events, be there for my rebels, and then save the difficult stuff for after the event is over. I don't make any major decisions during that time. It's, it's just hard enough to be ready and on my game for what I need to do, let alone trying to do other work outside of that. I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes glimpse at what my life looks like during event weekends. I'll see you next time.